Well, we are here outside the White House, and you can see behind me a large crowd of PTI supporters, and it, and it is a large crowd by American standards. I know in Pakistan it's usual to see hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, in America, that does not happen. So, uh, so even a few hundred people are considered large here, and they have come. They have come all the way from Virginia, from Maryland, and some have even come from New Jersey, uh, and they want to express solidarity with Imran Khan. Uh, this is one of a, about half a dozen protests and demonstrations that have happened here in Washington since Imran Khan was arrested and later released. Uh, this time the crowd appeared a little subdued or, or rather I would say a caref a little, a m more careful because the, the slogans this time are focused on Pakistan, Zindabad, uh, I mean, uh, focus on Pakistan and Imran Khan, the Chinese slogans like Pakistan, Zindabad, Imran Khan, Zindabad. And uh, there were some slogans against uh, some generals, but uh, there, was no, there were no slogans against the army. People were more careful. And also speakers uh, said that they love, uh, they are also Pakistanis, they love the Pakistan army. They understand that every country needs a strong army, but at the same time, they said that they want to send this message which they say they claim is also uh, in favor of the army that the army should stop interfering in politics and let the politicians run uh, political affairs uh, I, I, I think uh, mm, I mean PTI is has been able to sustain this protest in in, in the United States for more than a year uh, sorry, for for more than a month. I don't know how long this protest can go. Uh, obviously, uh, the rulers in Pakistan are hoping that it is slowly uh, the, the crowds will thin out and ultimately the protest is, will stop. And the organizers in PTI uh, plan to continue this, but uh, only time will tell who will win. So far, the PTI is continu continuing with its protest.